In this video, we will be talking about style transfer for post-speech gesture animation. Humans like interacting with each other, communicating ideas, or just having fun. While verbal communication through a phone is comforting, interacting in person is a completely different experience. This is due to the addition of non-verbal behaviors, such as hand gestures, head motion, facial expressions, and general body language. In this work, we only talk about hand gestures that accompany speech. These gestures are called co-speech gestures. Avatars are virtual agents that are remotely operated by humans in some form or the other. In this case, acoustic signals of the human are available, but pose or gestures corresponding to the audio are not. Avatars can be used to experience virtual presence in a virtual reality space, for healthcare when patients might be concerned with privacy, and job interviews to circumvent gender and racial biases. Each person has their own way of conveying messages or delivering talks. For example, someone may have their hands close to the resting position. Part in the study because they were busy having the time of their lives. <laughs> and others may move their hands a lot. Also doesn't change much of what they went into change. The speed, intensity, and frequency of such behaviors contribute to a gesture style. To study style transfer of co-speech gestures, we need pose and audio sequences for a lot of different styles of gestures. One instance of such a data point is It also doesn't change much of what they went into change. For this purpose, we introduce Pat's dataset, which consists of monologues of 25 speakers, totaling up to 250 plus hours of data. The data includes pose with the corresponding audio and transcripts of 25 different gesture styles. Out of these, 10 speakers are integrated from a data set released in 2019 by adding transcriptions. While prior work learns a new model for every speaker, we hypothesize that learning one common gesture space for many speakers would be able to leverage the commonalities in the gesture style amongst those speakers. Additionally, this gesture space gives us the ability to change the style of the generated co-speech gestures, or simply called style transfer. For example, let's look at speaker A. And actually this year is S for us, as you could have guessed that. Make note of the raised left arm, which is the part of a style. We map the style to a learned multimodal gesture space which can then generate gestures with the audio of speaker B, but with speaker A style. <laughs> and it's not just the number of companies, it's the variety. You've got fast cash, cash central, speedy. Speaker B does not raise his left arm this high in the original video or anywhere else in the data set. This aspect of style was transferred from speaker A. Additionally, this gesture space is capable of learning style manifolds of many speakers and hence can perform many-to-many -many style transfers. Let's have a closer look at the gesture space of one of our models. To understand the space better, we answer three key questions. What does this space represent? How do we use this gesture space to generate stylized gestures? How do we learn this gesture space? Each color forms a region representing the gesture style of one speaker. In this space, there are a total of eight speakers. In the scope of this work, data for each of these speakers was available during training, and hence we can perform within domain style transfer by hopping from one region to the other. Qualitatively, we can infer the similarities among different styles based on the region occupied. For example, Gordon and Maher have largely different styles of gesturing. Hence, they are cleanly separated in the gesture space. On the other hand, Oliver and YouTube channel professional 
have some common gestures, hence they occupy the partially overlapping regions. To generate stylized gestures using the gesture space, we follow a two-step process. First, the style of speaker B, which is denoted by a red vector, decides on the region to sample gestures from. Second, based on the audio of speaker A, the precise point in the selected region is picked. This point is then decoded to generate a gesture. As the audio of the speaker A keeps on proceeding in time, the gestures will keep on changing, but they will typically be limited to the region selected by the style of speaker B. As this is a many-to-many -many style transfer system, we can generate co-speed gestures in many different gesture styles with the audio of any speaker. To learn the gesture space, we use a consistency loss on the style vectors for both the ground truth and the generated gestures. We do the same for other speakers, such as speaker A, and so on. We refer the viewers to our paper for the complete description of the model and the optimization process. Let's look at a few more examples of style transfer. First, we have a look at the original video where the style and audio is from speaker E, just to calibrate ourselves with the style of the speaker. In all the other elements, we have this opportunity to observe a clean nucleosynthesis process of this R process. We sometimes abbreviate it rapid with R, so R process. Now, let's look at some generated animations with the style of the previous speaker and audio of a new speaker. The original video of the new speaker is played along for reference. Speaker D is seated, but the generated gestures have the hand below the waist like the style of speaker E. Because he said that the prison was really far from his attorneys. So he said that attorneys have to travel two hours every day to try and get to him and it takes a long time, so they don't have time to work on their case. So then he's like, can we have more time? And the judge was like, oh, why don't I just move you to a jail closer to your attorneys? <laughs> and that Speaker C doesn't move a lot, unlike speaker E. Part of the defense of cancer against attack by the immune system Speaker B has sideways beat gestures, unlike the style of Speaker E. He said, the Pope said, the one regret he had is that he didn't go to the Statue of Liberty, because it would be nice to be able to say that at least once in his life, he spent some time. Resting position of Speaker A is around the waist, which is unlike the style of Speaker E. How are you liking today's session? Seatmate, what brings you to this session? badge line or the gift bag line. Come to a lot of conferences like this. Elevator or escalator. Been to this conference. Let's now transfer style of speaker B to other speakers. As before, let's familiarize ourselves with speaker B's style. Pope said the one regret he had is that he didn't go to the Statue of Liberty because it would be nice to be able to say that at least once in his life, he spent some time. Speaker E is very expressive with her left arm unlike speaker B, who uses both arms equally. In all the other elements, we have this opportunity to observe a clean nucleosynthesis process of this R process. Speaker D is seated, but the generated gestures have the hand below the waist, like the style of speaker E. Because he said that the prison was really far from his attorneys. So he said that attorneys have to travel two hours every day to try and get to him and it takes a long time, so they don't have time to work on their case. So then he's like, can we have more time? And the judge was like, oh, why don't I just move you to a jail closer to your attorneys? <laughs> and that Speaker C does not move a lot, unlike Speaker B. Part of the defense of cancer against attack by the immune system. Speaker A's resting position is around the waist. She has a similar style as compared to Speaker B. Hence, we do not see a lot of difference in the generated style. How are you liking today's sessions? Thank you for watching. Our code and data can be found at the following link.